The nephron is the smallest functional unit of the kidney and acts to filter blood and reabsorb useful materials from the filtrate before eliminating the rest as urine. It can be really hard to remember all the different parts of the nephron and what order they come in, so in this video, we'll give you a visual mnemonic to help you remember all the parts of the nephron and the order in which filtrate passes through them. Before we begin, let's orient ourselves briefly with this diagram of the nephron. Blood first moves through the capillaries of the glomerulus to enter the proximal convoluted tubule, after which it passes through the loop of Henle. After that, it enters the distal tubule, then the collecting duct, and finally, whatever's left leaves the kidneys to be secreted as waste. Seems like a lot of terms and phrases, right? But no worries, this mnemonic will make things much easier. Looks like we're at some kind of food processing plant. But not just any food. See that big can of kidney beans? You guessed it. This factory exclusively makes kidney bean-flavored products. These kidney beans should remind you that this scene is on the kidney. More specifically, the nephron of the kidney. Got that? First, let's take a look at that bright yellow Nerf gun our security guard's holding. The workers at this food processing plant can get easily distracted, so Nerf guns are their playful way of keeping them in line. This Nerf gun should remind you of the nephron in the kidney, since Nerf gun sounds kind of like nephron. Get it? Let this Nerf gun anchor you to this scene on the nephron. Nephrons are the smallest functional units of the kidney. Each of our kidneys are made up of over a million of these units. Next, notice that food plant workers at the start of this food line. Uh-oh, looks like this worker took a hit from the Nerf gun just as he was pulling on his gloves. Putting on gloves is obviously the first step to anything that requires handling food. So naturally, these gloves represent the first part of the nephron. Let this worker pulling on his gloves remind you of the glomerulus, the first part of the nephron that blood enters through. Get it? Glove for glomerulus? The glomerulus is the first part of the nephron where blood is filtered to make filtrate. We'll get more into the nitty gritty of each part of the nephron and what they do in other videos. But for now, just remember that the glomerulus comes first. Unfortunately for our worker, it looks like that Nerf gun startled him pretty bad. See how that worker knocked the can of kidney beans right into that giant food processor? Let this food processor remind you of the proximal tubule, since processor sounds like proximal. Get it? The filtrate made in the glomerulus Next enters the proximal tubule, where important salts and nutrients get reabsorbed across epithelial cells lining the tubule. We'll cover the specific functions of the proximal tubule in a dedicated video. For now, just picture this processor to know that the proximal tubule comes after the glomerulus. Next, let's look more closely at what's coming out of that food processor. After being blended at high speeds in the food processor, you can bet these kidney beans build up quite a lot of heat. To dissipate this heat, our factory uses a U-shaped loop with a coil. You might have seen these cooling coils in air conditioners or refrigerators. Say, this loop-shaped tubing that's moving the kidney beans reminds me a little of another kind of loop. The loop of Henley, to be exact. We have a dedicated video on this, but the main function of the loop of Henle is to reabsorb solutes to establish a concentration gradient in the nephron. Next, let's turn our attention to those big metal vats the kidney beans are moving into. Those are actually distillery tubes, which the food plant is using to distill alcohol from kidney beans. Sounds like that would taste pretty interesting. These distillery tubes should remind you of the distal tubules. Distillery tubes for distal tubules. Get it? The distal tubule, also called the distal convoluted tubule, comes after the loop of Henle, which you can remember as these loops going into the distillery tubes to make alcohol. The distal tubules also function to reabsorb solutes like sodium. 
Since distal sounds like distant, that should also help remind you that we're getting close to the end of our journey through the nephron. Uh oh, looks like when our worker knocked a bunch of extra kidney beans into the processor, he accidentally overloaded the system and caused a leak. Luckily, it seems like the other food plant workers have a plan. See that big roll of duct tape he's holding? Let that duct tape remind you that the final section of the nephron is the collecting duct. Duct tape for collecting duct. This should make sense since the collecting duct is where all the filtrates end up or collects. This is also where the body reabsorbs a lot of water from the filtrate so it can leave the body as concentrated urine. Since the duct tape is going to cover the leak, this should help you remember that the collecting duct is where water reabsorption occurs. All right, let's summarize what we've covered so we can leave before we get into any more trouble. The nephron is the smallest functional unit of the kidney and consists of several different parts, each with a specialized structure suited to its function. The nephron starts with the glomerulus, where filtrate is made from blood. Afterwards, filtrate moves into the proximal convoluted tubule, where nutrients are reabsorbed. After the proximal convoluted tubule comes the loop of Henle, and after that, the distal tubule. Finally, the filtrate moves from the distal tubule into the collecting duct, and the final part of the nephron. As filtrate flows through the nephron, water and solutes are reabsorbed back into the body, leaving the remaining waste to exit as urine. Note that this video is intended to give you a high-level introduction to the different parts and organization of the nephron. To learn the special functions of each part, you should check out our dedicated videos after this one. Okay, that's about it for the nephron. Looks like these workers have got a lot to take care of. Let's leave them to it, and I'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching. For more videos like this one, subscribe to our channel and check out our newest lessons. For more resources on this topic, including fact lists and interactive review images, click the image next to the More Here arrow. I'll see you next time.